CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Uh, thanks for your time, David. Um, well, there were five down. England in a great position. Do you feel in any way that uh, Australia have been let off the hook slightly? No doubt we let it slip. Um, it's probably not the first time this series as well. We've had, had them on the ropes to, to a degree and we haven't sort of finished the job. Credit to them, the way they've played with that. But um, you know, we, didn't, we, did, we didn't deliver what we should, should have delivered today. Well, do you put that down to, I guess, confidence would have been gained by getting five wickets for a pretty low score? What do you think went wrong after that? I just don't think we, we... We pride ourselves on being able to hold lengths and hold good areas, bringing the batsman forward and always making it hard for the opposition to score. Uh, it's always harder at West, in, in Perth to, to stop teams scoring because it is a, a quite a fast outfield and a good place to play your shots, but we, we just found it really hard to do that. And... Uh, it can be disappointing when you, you you've planned that this things that these things are going to happen, and we, we just didn't get it right today. And uh, you know conditions were obviously pretty tough. I mean, how hard was it on the bowlers today? Did that in any way affect the performance? Do you think? Oh, in the heat, there's no doubt that it's tough. But you know, you prepare yourself to play Test cricket all around the world. We've played in conditions like this, if, if not worse, before, and, and acquitted ourselves really well. And uh, there's no way we could blame the weather on this. There's five days of cricket here. This is just the first day of a five-day cricket match. It's going to be hot every day. Um, we've got the chance when we bat to keep the Australians out there for as long as we can. So, uh, But we've got to do our job tomorrow and make sure we get those four wickets as quick as we can so then we we set up the game as from there. David, um, on day one in Brisbane, it was 130-odd for six. I mean, it's kind of gone that way again, hasn't it? I mean, it looked pretty good. Does it feel like a recurring theme? Yeah, it's, it's disappointing that we can't finish teams off, which we, we've usually got a very good record of doing. Um, Mitchell Johnson's bowl played particularly well and Brad Haddon's played particularly well. And um, with just getting them to the crease, you know, and, then, and they're, ho they're hanging in there enough or they're counter-punching very well. And um, you know, I don't think, other than today, I don't think we, we've done too much wrong at that stage. But today I thought we mixed our lengths once we had them in a bit of trouble, we went to the short ball probably too much. Um, we couldn't hold our length for long enough to put good pressure on the team. And you know, we know that, we're not going to shy away from that, but I know this team's a good enough team to, to bounce back and do their job tomorrow. Um, you know, there's, there's some disappointed bowlers in there, there's a disappointed bowling coach right now, but I've been with this group long enough to know they'll bounce back. David, you, you came onto this tour with three giant fast bowlers. I mean, how, how disappointed are you that None of them appears to put himself in a position to be picked in this test on the, on the, on the pitch that you know, we would have thought would have been tailor-made for. I think they probably put themselves in position to play this match, but we, you know, when Tim Bresden's in our team, we always seem to be a really well-balanced team and we always get, seem to get really good results and he's a, you know, he, he's a fantastic guy to have in our team because of that, that reason. He, um, we thought that the balance of the team would be best with for Tim Bresden in that team. Um, if we, we then bring another tall bowler in to have another quick, so to speak, we'd probably leave ourselves short somewhere else. So, um, yes, it probably is an ideal place for the taller bowlers to bowl, but we thought the best balance of the team was with Tim Bresden in it. Jimmy um, bowled well today, but he seems to have been, since Trent Bridge last year, he's been short of wickets, it looks to me. Any, any reason for that, David? Yeah, it has been probably disappointing, and he's be the first to say that it's been disappointing he hasn't got wickets. He's bowled some fantastic spells this series, and he bowled some good spells after Trent Bridge yeah. as well. And you know, he actually, we actually talked about it this week about I need to get some wickets. And but for me and for all our bowlers, it's about just doing what they do really well. Uh, don't go searching for wickets. Don't panic. Just do what you do really well. Jimmy's a very skillful bowler. The ball hasn't swung as much, mm. to be fair, over here than I, I thought it would. Uh, and yeah, but I still think he's bowling some good spells and some really today again he bowled some fantastic spells without luck. Uh, but we probably didn't do that collectively as, as a group, and that's fair to say we didn't. That's why the scorecard is the way it is. Are you confident Jimmy will come through this sort of leanish spell? Oh, I'm very confident. I know Jimmy very well, and I'm, you know, he, he's got to just be, make sure that he stays true to what he does well. Um, you know, but that's the disappointing thing in today is that I think we did chase wickets, and that's probably one of the first times we've done that 
as a group for as long as that since I've been in charge, and that was a little bit disappointing. Last couple. David, what, why, why do you think the bowlers did chase the wickets? I mean, you obviously spend a lot of time at drinks breaks, at tea, at lunch, and all that, you know, reinforcing what you're trying to do. What, what, what is, is it the situation of the series, the situation of the match, that is why they've gone away from what you wanted them to do? It still gets drilled into them, and we, we're quite, quite aware of that. I think we, it, that there is a degree that maybe it is where we are in the situation of the Test Series, and um, but I, I hope it's not. I think we try we pride ourselves on just playing one ball at a time, and the next ball, the next ball. That, the, the only important ball in a cricket match, to me anyway, is the next ball. Um, and you know, today we, we didn't show that, to be fair. And you know, As I said, there's some disappointed people in there, but you know, this character, this group should have have proven over time that they can bounce back and as I said if we can come out tomorrow get four for 50 60 and then really dig in with the bat that's still game on there's four more days to go yeah you know, we're, we're really determined to win this game Last one. David it can be a bit hard to assess what's a par score when you've only seen one team bat for one day but you know if you were to get them for 350 or whatever is that below par do you think on this pitch well the times today Australia looked made it look quite easy to bat and the one great thing about this the surface here when you get in with the bat and you can score quickly um, most teams can do that but the opposite to that is that you can lose multiple wickets quite quickly because it is hard to start so as a group if we can, as I said if we can knock them over for less than 400 tomorrow and really get stuck in with the bat that's still game on uh, you can't judge a game after one day of test cricket and we've all more people in this room and the people in our room have watched enough and seen enough test cricket to know that that's well and truly not over.